Bonjour tout le monde. Welcome back to We in France. I'm Diane and today's video might look a little different. I'm here in sunny southern Florida in a Whole Foods parking lot and we're gonna head into this great grocery store and we're gonna do two things. I'm gonna take you along to see if one there are any authentic French products and two I'm gonna tell you if they're worth your money or if you're better off skipping them. So let's head in. So for anyone unfamiliar with Whole Foods, they're a higher end grocery store. They tend to be a little bit more expensive, have specialty products and a lot of organic foods. Uh, they're great. And let's see if they have anything French. Okay, so right off the bat here, as I was going through the wine section, we have all kinds of rosés, or en français, rosé wine. And um, as you might expect, many of them are from Provence. Uh, the Côte de Provence, we're looking at $21 a bottle, something here is uh, not French, a little cheaper, but there's all types of French uh, Provence rosés here around the $20, $20 price point, more or less. But in France, you could still get a really good bottle um, from the producer for a bit less than that. And of course, there are more expensive ones as well. But um, Whole Foods has no shortage of beautiful French and summer-ready <laughs> rosé. So this is the condiment aisle with mustards. Let's see if we could find any my brand mustard or pickles. We're looking together. Oh, I've spotted it. I've spotted it. So let's take a look at that. So of course they're not going to have the same selection as a French grocery store, but uh, we have two really nice mustards here, the Dijon original, and we also have the old style with the mustard seeds at $4.69. And I think Everyone pretty much knows this stuff is definitely worth your money and is not a crazy, uh, is not a crazy expenditure. Let's grab that Dijon mustard, just an all-around solid product. Uh, we'll keep heading down. This is the international aisle, though. There we go. You can see that. I don't see anything French just yet, but I'm keeping an eye out for you. Oh man, cookie bar. Might have to get in on that. Nothing French about the cookies, but you know, when in Rome and all. Okay, so we have the white baguette. We're gonna grab one of those. Oh no, we're, I think we're gonna grab the artisan baguette. There are two. Ooh, three fifty each. Three fifty, and even the white baguette was two fifty. Remember, in France, these cost, depending on what you get, one euro, one euro fifty. Depends on again what it is. Let's go ahead and grab. Let's go ahead and grab the artisan baguette for three fifty. I don't have high hopes, guys. I'm gonna shoot low and then be pleasantly surprised. Feels soft, not warm, but soft. All right, we'll get this one. What do you think? But looks like decent bread, you know? I'm not that picky, really. And I haven't been to Whole Foods in 18 months, the last time I was in the US, so I'm sure some of you out there who shop here regularly, you're gonna know even better than me what amazing French products Whole Foods has. So definitely let me know down below in the comments and let me know what kinds of French things are your favorite to buy at Whole Foods and if maybe you've discovered something new in this video. But let's keep looking. Okay, and then baked in store, we have a chocolate croissant, and we also have a butter croissant. So what do you think? We'll get a butter croissant. Ooh, 250 each. In France, they're about one euro, so uh, about half that, maybe a little less. All right. All right, looks like Zach the Baker has a lot going on, and although this is out of Miami, it's French style, so it qualifies for what we can find in Whole Foods that's French or French-ish. But yeah, these aren't um, made in France or anything like that. But you know what? Let's get these um, pain au chocolat. All right, look with me. I'm in front of the butter, and I have to say, the other day in Walmart, I popped in there real quick, and I noticed they had the President, the President brand, uh, French butter. It was not imported from France, but it was President USA, and the, I am not seeing anything French here, guys. I'm seeing Kerrygold, which I believe is Irish. I see all kinds of organic valley. I don't see anything French, although the closest would be the European Kerrygold, and then I see European-style cultured vegan butter all kinds of vegan things, but I don't see any French butter. Okay, that's surprising. I thought maybe they would have President, since even uh, Walmart has it, so I thought it was popular, but guess not. Okay, turning around, let's have a look at the yogurt. A lot of stony field kids. Uh, 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 look, I've spotted something French. Do you see it? Do you see it? I don't know if it's in the shot, but let me see. So La Fermière, they are 
a beautifully, beautifully made and packaged French brand of yogurt. And I'll show you, let me grab this vanilla bean. We'll get one of these. So it's $2.99 right now. We're on sale two for five, if you look at the sign. So more expensive than in France, but they come in these beautiful ceramic containers. And La Fermière is a brand you could get in France at French grocery stores, at the regular grocery store. This, I believe, is available in the U.S. at Whole Foods and Fresh Market. And uh, we'll explore it more when we get home. All right, I've spotted right in front of the butcher counter some uh, buns for hamburgers and hot dogs. And if you look closely, it's the brioche hot dog buns, French recipe made with cage-free eggs, which is always good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these. They have some whole grain ones as well, but to stay pretty French, I don't see the whole grain brioche much in France. I'm gonna go ahead and get these regular ones, French recipe, Euro classic. How much are they? Don't wanna know. Oh, $4.99 for six of them. And on the back, are they French style? Uh, they're distributed by Whole Foods Market out of Austin, Texas. But it does say, look, product of France. So French recipe, product of France, just distributed by Whole Foods out of Texas. So that's it's pretty good for me. We're going to get these bad boys. All right, let's get them. Let's get them. All right, let's head down the oils aisle, see if there's anything there, if we find our pickles. Okay, as I was walking down the vinegar aisle where they have all types of salad dressings, this caught my eye because it says, a I can't even say it, a l'olivier, and framboise, which is stra uh, strawberry, wow, raspberry. This looks like uh, a vinegar made with uh, raspberry pulp, and if we turn it around, it's $13.99. Is it actually French? So it says they're specialists in oils and vinegars since it's founding in Paris, and this is uh, an exclusive importer for the U.S., the Medici Imports, uh, product of France. Okay, looks good, we're buying it. All right, going in the cart. Okay, so I found my pickles next to the olives and I don't see any French ones. I see peppers, organic this, organic that. There is an empty shelf, so it's possible the my ones would be there, the little cornichon, but I'm not seeing them here. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot. Let's see, no, don't see any. All right, on we go. Still trying to find cheese. I think it's by the lettuce. Let's go take a look. Bingo. Found all kinds of cheese. All right, let's see. I'm expecting to find brie that's authentically imported from France, so look with me. Okay, so then we have boursin, garlic, and fine herb, which I just spotted. So in France, you'd see a whole product line of this stuff, like eight different flavors. Here we have garlic and fine herb. Oh, there it is, sorry, wasn't showing you it, which is good because that's my favorite flavor. So we're gonna grab this. Is it a product of France? Is it imported, blah, 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 blah. Manufactured, no, by Bell Brands in the US. So French style, but made in the US. Okay, and here's the specialty cheese that they pre-cut so let's see I'm trying to find the brie in there okay so let's see we have a grass-fed petit bonhomme brie look at that the petit bonhomme brie grass-fed from normandy france all right i think that's going to be a winner <laughs> okay so whole foods has a really nice selection of french cheeses and there's also that same cheese i just showed you in front of me that comes here from france from Mont. i actually don't know if you say that Mont or Mont. Normally the S is silent. Ah, and look at this. And over here we have the Mimolette. We have the Conte. All right, we got to get it. We'll get the Conte. All right, good. Let's not drop them. In the cooler you go. But let's grab a few of these and, uh, and get to check out. we go out into the heat. I have three ice packs in my cooler, so everything should make it home. And uh, yeah, we'll get on to the testing phase. Uh, I have to say, I really thought we'd find a few more French products. I mean, yeah, we found yogurt. We found um, the hamburger rolls. That was cool. And uh, cheese, of course. But I thought we'd definitely find those my cornichon, the little pickles. 
Um, so I don't know if maybe they were just out, that space on the shelf uh, where we didn't see anything. Um, maybe that. But yeah, you guys will definitely have to let me know what I missed. It's lunchtime. The store was pretty busy, so I didn't, uh, I didn't spend three hours in there. All right, hey everyone. I am back home here uh, in the kitchen and I've laid out everything in front of me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into the bread. We're gonna start there. Uh, we're gonna start with this lovely baguette. All of the baked goods um, are from Zach the Baker. Um, I believe he's out of the Wynwood Hotel in Miami. And let me just cut this safely here on the, the counter and then I'll show you what we're working with. And we'll see if it looks French or not really. Okay, so I just cut into the baguette and I'll get as close as I can. So it feels pretty dense, I have to say. Um, you know, some bread in France is dense like this. Um, and it's about mi cuit, une baguette mi cuit. So feels good, you know, it feels maybe a little spongier uh, than a typical French baguette, but that also could be from the humidity here in Southern Florida. There we go. So that's what the inside, this is the mi. Okay, and that's quality bread. Is it exactly like baguettes in France? No, not exactly, but it's solid, seven out of 10. This is a solid baguette, and maybe the bread connoisseurs will disagree, but for me, Zach the Baker, good job. Let me cut into the two viennoiseries that I have. So I bought the butter croissant that was made by the store, um, or at least baked by the Whole Foods in West Palm Beach. And this uh, pain au chocolat, this is from Zach the Baker as well. And a bag, I think of eight was 9.50, something around there, 8.50 or 9.50. So these are mini ones, not cheap, but we're gonna cut right into that. Okay, so I cut it right in half, get nice and close up there. Hope you can see that. So it looks like the chocolate's kind of distributed to one side, kind of right in the middle. That's what the end looks like. And feels a little squishy. Um, it says it's baked every morning fresh there in Miami. But again, the humidity here is about 95% today. So let's see. Okay, and I have to say, again, really solid work from Zach the Baker. This is on point, this croissant here, the pain au chocolat, but it's um, not overly buttery. It's good. I think the humidity affects it a little bit just because of the climate here, but uh, it's a quality pain au chocolat. I would give it seven or eight out of 10. I'm not difficult with this kind of thing. So thumbs up on that. Let's um, head over to the store baked croissant. This is what it looks like. So that looks pretty airy, not too yellow, not crazy buttery if you look at that. So let's see. That's actually a really, really nice croissant. It's not, doesn't seem to be affected by the humidity at all not really spongy, not overly dense, a good amount of butter, not too much. Whole Foods croissants, gotta give them a nine out of 10. It tastes pretty authentic and um, definitely worth a buy. And just to finish with the bread, we're gonna continue along with these hamburger rolls that I showed you in the store. French recipe, um, the brioche style, and they're really nice on cheeseburgers. They also have really good ones at Aldi that I've had before that are French um, brioche style. I don't, know, I don't know if they're authentic French recipes over there at Aldi, but this one is as a French recipe. And they're already pre-cut, so we'll just look at the texture on those. And it looks, I, I can smell it. I know you can't smell it through the camera, but you smell the brioche, not too sweet, but it smells just really, really good. Yeah, that's solid. I mean, this would be great on any type of chicken burger, turkey burger, uh, vegetable-based burger, plant-based burger, really anything you would normally use a plain white bread bun for. Thumbs up, highly, highly recommend these. I forget how much they cost. They do come in a pack of six. Major thumbs up here. Um, I'm interested to see if we get to anything that I tell you uh, don't buy, not worth the money, but let's see. We're gonna move right on to the La Fermia yogurt, um, which I showed you in the store, and it comes in a little ceramic pot like this. That goes well with my nails. That says La Fermia. These you can get in France. These I believe are produced by La Fermia US. Um, so they're not imported from France and they were on sale at Whole Foods, yay. And what I like doing is at the end, you rinse out the ceramic pool, the container, and um, you use that for something else. Repurpose it to put, um, use it as a catch-all, put pens in there, or um, even use it for flowers as a vase. 
So here's the texture. That's what it looks like. So medium thick, has a little bit of sweetness, and that's vanilla. Really good, has a little bit of a tang. It's a quality yogurt. Um, I think the French formulation might be a little different. They have um, slightly different flavor profiles. They also have rice pudding, um, things I did not see in Whole Foods. I think they had three flavors of La Fermière, but it's a quality yogurt. I like eating it because you hold the little ceramic, the little ceramic container, and it just feels nice in your hand. Feels very French. You have the little, the noise it makes when you stick your spoon in <laughs> and, um, it's really nice. You can mix it with fruit, do whatever you'd like um, with the vanilla. Yeah, it's a solid buy, especially if it's on sale like it was today, but really get this. But let's move on to uh, the Boursin. So the Boursin, or looks like this Boursin, I don't know how they say it. Um, but yeah, the Boursin, this is kind of like a spreadable, it's not a cream cheese exactly, but it's similar in texture. And this one has garlic and fine herbs. So what you do, this actually can go well on a cracker, but typically, let me get my knife. Typically in France, what you would have is you would just take a little on your knife and then you grab your baguette and then you would just spread a little bit on like so. And this would be on a cheese plate, on a cheese platter, just like, um, you know, you would put with brie or whatever else you're looking to have on your cheese platter. And this would be your soft spread cheese. Yeah, and it's good. It tastes exactly like it does in France. And I highly recommend it. Um, Whole Foods only had this one flavor and it is my favorite. So this would probably even go nicely on a bagel as well. Although I know they do make cream cheeses, um, you know, with herbs and all of that. But if you want to go do it the French way, get your boursin. And we're going to move on um, to the Comté cheese that I bought. I've already unwrapped them. I've already unwrapped them. Take, whoop! Oh my gosh, I just dumped my cheese. That's not good. We're going to do this again and put my thumbs on them so they don't go sliding. It's getting a little soft. But um, I've unwrapped them here and we're just gonna cut into them. I need to cut a little bit more baguette for my cheese. But sometimes I just like tasting the cheese without any bread, so that way you're not getting a mix. You could just taste the flavor. So let me just cut into, let me just cut into the Comté. Gotta clean my knife, clean like this. And I'm gonna go in, have a taste. Okay, it's a really good Comté. Comté can be a little bit lighter. It could be a little bit um, more aged and have a stronger flavor. This one has a medium to strong flavor. I think it's relatively aged. I'm gonna look at the packaging over there. Almost tastes kind of like a, a Parmesan wood. Um, kind of that flavor. It's a harder cheese, right? So this isn't, um, this isn't a soft cheese like I just showed you. Yeah, it's a 15 month Comté. So, um, Perfect image of the Jura Terroir, which, um, you know, it's a mountainous area in France. So yeah, this comes from France and it even has on the label a little protected status there. So for the $9, uh, it's a really good Comté. It would be beautiful on a cheese board, charcuterie board, um, or whatever you're doing, if you're entertaining or having a backyard party with people who enjoy quality cheese. This is quality. So we're gonna eat a little more. We're gonna move into our brie. Um, typically in France, you find brie in like a triangle wedge. This one, you get the whole round. So what we'll do is we'll make our own little triangle as we slice into it, just like this. It's not a very good triangle, but it'll do. So we just have a nice little wedge here with the rind and you see the brie. Brie is not my favorite cheese um, in general, but you know, it's a good cheese and it's a nice solid choice that's not too strong. Um, it's not gonna turn anyone off or overpower anyone. And it's a nice choice. It, you don't really know your guest's taste and you don't want to go too crazy with the cheese. And of course, tastes just like the brie in France because it's from France. This one is from Normandy, as you can see on the front of the Petit Bonhomme. And um, this is what it looks like once I've cut into it, but it's a quality size. If you look at the palm of my hand and this cheese, it's a nice circle. So there we have it. So we'll put that aside. We'll move on to our fourth and final cheese here. And this is a softer one. I almost put my thumb through it. And this is the Saint Nuage. It's a triple cream, soft, ripened cheese. So it was also one of the most expensive ones at $12.99. Typically for cheeses that come in rounds like this, you just want to cut in and cut yourself out just one portion. It's a little soft right now, but that's, that's good. And this is what I've cut my little triangular piece. <laughs> Ooh, losing it, making a real mess here as usual. Yeah. 
It's excellent. It reminds me of, um, I believe one of the cheeses that's also a triple, triple ripened cream cheese is uh, Savarin, is it Saint Savarin? Um, that you can find at French uh, fromagerie, even in the grocery store. Um, of course, at the fromagerie, you're gonna have most likely a higher quality cheese, also a higher price tag. So when I'm speaking about prices here on this cheese, um, you know, it's the equivalent, maybe a little higher than what you find in a uh, French grocery store because it's fancy French cheese. So you're paying a premium, of course, in Whole Foods. But in France, you can still buy cheese at the grocery store. They'll either cut it for you at a deli counter or it'll be packaged like these cheeses were uh, in Whole Foods. Or if you want the expertise of the uh, fromager, the person who's the expert at cheese at the fromagerie, at the place where you buy the cheese, you can head in and just ask them based on your preferences for two, three, ten cheese cheeses and you know you do pay for that expertise um, but there's a range there's a range of cheese prices in France so um, you'll find something that fits into your budget so next up I have the my mustard and this is a solid mustard as I said um, it's a Paris brand I believe um, that was started it says right here in 1747 you'll even see stores for my I'm not sure if they have any in the in the US but um, it's a uh, is a great brand. They have all different types of mustards in the French grocery store. Maybe you've seen it on my Facebook or Instagram, like literally 10 or 15 varieties of mayo, um, pickles, and mustards. And this is just the regular Dijon, right? And it smells, it smells really fresh, really nice, great on sandwiches, like I said, in marinades, if you're gonna be putting it on any type of meat, or um, if you're gonna make a salad dressing with a little bit of oil and other spices, this goes really well. And um, trust me on that, I know what this tastes like. I'm not gonna sample the mustard for you here because it's gonna be a little, little strong for my afternoon taste test, but this is a quality product. And if you want a nice mustard for a special recipe, or you just like having good mustard on your sandwiches, that is something to buy. And I'm looking around here. I have one thing left and I'm actually not gonna taste it because I have a food allergy um, that might be a problem based on the ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my dad taste it for you. And I'm gonna put along the bottom of the screen if he thinks it's worth it or not. This is one of the more expensive products I bought and I believe it was $13.99. It is a special uh, raspberry pulp vinegar from France, they had another flavor as well, but I went for the raspberry because I think my parents would uh, use this one the most. And you can make salad dressings with it, again, as a marinade for any type of recipe where you're gonna mix everything together um, with a nice raspberry taste. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it and we're gonna smell it. And then off camera, my dad will taste it for us. And we're gonna put it on the bottom of the screen if he thinks it's worth the $13.99, and he is not a French product connoisseur. I'm not gonna tell him how much it was. I'm not gonna tell him anything about it. I'm just gonna say, hey, what do you think of this vinegar? Off the outer wrap, and it just has a twist off top. Oh man, and it smells really, really good. I would taste this if I didn't have an allergy conflict with it, but oh man, you really, really smell the raspberries. They smell really fresh, not artificial at all. Literally, if I didn't know I was smelling raspberry vinegar, I would think, yeah, I definitely think I was smelling some kind of raspberry syrup. It's not sickly sweet or anything. There's no, no over the top sweetness, but it just smells like really fresh, I don't know, just picked raspberries. Um, almost like juicy raspberries, if we can convey that through just a smell. But um, smells like a quality product. I'm gonna think, unless my dad has lost his sense of taste and smell, I think he'd be a fool to say this isn't worth it because it is, incredible just smelling it so i can't imagine what it would taste like in a salad dressing but as always i hope you like this different video um i'm in the u.s so i wanted to take advantage of it and show you some of the products and as i said let me know down below what products you think are worth it uh french ones authentically french imported ones and just french style products that you found in u.s grocery stores and let me know what's worth it and what's not so yeah, thank you so much everyone for stopping by We in France. I hope to see you back here on my channel soon. And um, check out my links below, follow me on social like Instagram, and uh, I'll see you right back here on We in France soon. Salut!